I did Sagittarius. I almost said Scorpio. Okay, let's. I'm hearing. Let's let's be honest. Okay, I'm hearing someone's on our mind. Okay, <laughs> um, <laughs> Sagittarius. I'm hearing you're having some dreams, Father of Wands, um, and uh, and and they are uh, burning the bed sheets. <laughs> I'm hearing uh, alive, whatever that may mean in particular for you, <laughs> Sagittarius. You're like I'm hearing specifically. Let's be honest. The Seven of Swords in reverse. Um, I'm hearing there's lipstick on your face, whatever that may mean in particular for you. The Ten of Swords, the Death card, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. The Death card associated with Scorpio, the Major Arcana, is coming right through. Okay. Now, uh, the Daughter of Wands sits in reverse. The Death card is um, alluding to the Daughter of Wands indirectly. Okay, definitely I'm hearing indirectly. It's like, they're not gonna, I'm hearing, say your name. I'm hearing, they're not gonna call you by your first name. I'm hearing, or your last name. They're gonna, they're gonna, I'm hearing, play that good old Scorpio game. <laughs> I'm hearing specifically, perhaps specific message coming through here. Um, take it as you will. The Ten of Cups in reverse. Uh, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna dance the dance with you. Yeah, okay. But they're gonna, um, they're gonna uh, frequent, um, uh, uh, the bar that um, you you uh, don't sit at. I'm hearing specifically the the. I'm hearing the bar stool that you don't sit at. It's almost like I'm gonna play. I'm hearing their game just as well as they play theirs. I'm hearing and just as well as they play mine. Whatever that may mean in particular for you, Sagittarius. It's like there's this feeling of like um, of of like uh, I'm I'm seeing it as like two dancers that are dancing in totally different parts of the room, but they're but they're but their coordination is is as one it's very interesting okay and but i'm seeing it as like you're aware of me and i'm aware of you and i'm aware of how you're aware of me and i'm and i know that you're aware of how i'm aware of you and it's almost like it's almost like <laughs> it's like double i'm hearing double um and i'm seeing that it's there's a focus on reflection here as well it's like what that person is thinking i'm getting in a certain way you're also thinking and this came through for the reading for scorpio so if you're dealing with a scorpio then you may want to check that video out sagittarius but again i'm getting it's like they they i'm hearing are mesmerized i'm hearing absolutely entranced here with the daughter of cups um this may be your very own energy as well and of course, take it as you will, Sagittarius, uh, right? General reading. But the Justice card upright, hanging right off of the coattail of the Death card. I'm hearing uh, the Devil as well. You may be dealing with someone who's got both Sagittarius. I'm hearing Leo, Aries. Three swords coming through right over the Death card, mirroring the Justice card. They are, um, I'm hearing in financial, financial, uh, I'm hearing uh, complication. I'm hearing doo doo, whatever that may mean in particular for you, related to the Justice card. They may be, uh, I'm hearing wed wedlock here with the Justice card and the Three of Swords. Sun of Swords coming through. They're like, uh, they're in a seriously, uh, I'm hearing, uh, I'm hearing, um, I'm seeing it as almost like they're, 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 the hype hangs man right after the Sun of Swords. They uh, are, um, <laughs> They're, they're, um, Ace of Wands, which I'm hearing, whatever that may mean for you. Uh, okay. Eight of Wands, upside down, perpendicular too, but I'm hearing, let's turn that baby right side up. Uh, the Five of Cups. Yeah, okay. Uh, they, okay, I'm getting for another, this may be the energy of another individual, perhaps associated with a Pisces. They uh, have a few stories to tell, I'm hearing in that notebook, whatever that may mean, particularly for you, the Father, Swords, and Reverse, that they haven't really, really told yet, okay? It's like they, they're they waiting to write those in, in the, in the, in the uh, permanent uh, <laughs> marker, I'm hearing, and ink. The focus here is on um, what is associated with them in a certain way the high priestess here coming through again uh what it is that they are also desiring the empress here coming through the uh, social with the card of aries i'm getting related to this uh high priestess the four swords as well what it is that they um would 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 like to uh open up uh about themselves to you i'm hearing also to themselves i'm hearing specifically it's like what are they really uh, uh open to to considering i'm hearing as a possibility um perhaps related to the empress again matters related to aries the ace of cups coming through they um want to uh wear their <clears throat> their wedding ring i'm hearing specifically on the uh 
I'm hearing on the wand that they wield, whatever that may mean for you, for a number of you, may, this may be related to matters of financial partnerships. Okay, they, it's like almost there's something, Sagittarius, okay, there's, there's something like uh, a little bit convoluted, okay, about be it this character, be it this energy, and we've all got every sign in our chart, we've all got Scorpio somewhere lurking, lurking, right? We've all got the eighth house. I'm not joking, but all right. Scorpio being associated with the 8th house. Um, we've all got an 8th house, okay? Not necessarily positive, negative, or neutral. The 6 of wands in reverse. Uh, the 5 of pentacles and the magician here horizontally laid. The magician is mirroring the empress, okay? Um, in reverse, the 5 pentacles up right. The 2 of cups in reverse. Sagittarius. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, okay? If you're dealing with someone who... Um, is uh i'm hearing it has a lot of like obligations i'm i'm seeing it as like somebody who's like in a in a i'm hearing again doo-doo i'm hearing financial financial mess okay um it may be related to matters of uh career i'm hearing displacement whatever that may mean i'm for you the uh feeling is that they um they are deciding what they want to represent uh, and what they also want to be held accountable for, whatever that may mean in particular for you, okay? The emperor in reverse here coming through right around this tail end, the five of cups upright and the eight of wands upright. The two of pentacles upright, right over the eight of pentacles upright, the judgment card here upright, mirroring the two of pentacles. We are making a surface value decision. It's like, okay, is that is that um, a, a, um, a, a an, an asset? I'm hearing if it is, pack it in the luggage, okay? Okay, it's like if it's not, I'm hearing shred that baby up. Whatever that means for you. It's like I don't I don't want to be carrying around dead weight. I'm hearing specifically. It's like when I get to the airport, I don't wanna I don't wanna feel uh I'm hearing like my, my luggage is um is uh, overflowing with uh with marbles, whatever that may mean in particular for you, Sagittarius. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I'm just imagining uh, myself at the airport. I have a lot of Sagittarius in my chart, right? I've got a whole lot of Sagittarius in my chart. Um, and I, it's, it's, it depends, but sometimes, right, I will uh, pack like not the whole house, but half of the house in my luggage. And, um, right, it's like, oh, but what if? Like, I would I, I would love to, like, have the option of wearing that on that day, or whatever that may be, I'm thinking for a number of you. But you're like, I'm hearing, let's let's give Jupiter uh, a rain check uh, on this one, because I don't want to uh, have to deal with that. I'm hearing the aftermath of that, specifically, uh, the Nine of Swords universe. And if something was, like, really, like, pressuring you, the Ten of Cups upright, the Seven of Wands universe, like, what, what am I prioritizing? What is exciting for me? What what is it that I would like to, um, uh, uh, to, to, uh, I'm hearing replenish as well the assets of, and it's like, if, if I want to do that, if I'm hearing, if I want to make a, a new beginning, I'm hearing, uh, 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 I'm hearing and bounce back, I've got to release perhaps what is uh, almost like holding me, I'm hearing down it like an elastic band. I'm hearing weight, 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 Band. I'm hearing wastebasket, whatever that may be doing for you. There could be a focus on uh, detoxing, I'm getting as well. Perhaps a, uh, I'm getting it as like uh, releasing, I'm hearing regenerating, I'm hearing as well. The higher font here upright and the ten of cups upright. There may be focus on a Tauran archetype. They are very interested in um, organizing a potential uh, event with you, whatever that may be in particular for you. It's like they're like, hey, I've got this network and I and I want I want you to, uh, I'm hearing sing at this show, whatever that may be in particular for you, the five of wands in reverse. Um, a horizontal two, the ten of cups upright, the two of wands in reverse, right at the base of this uh, higher font, and the ten of cups. Um, we are we are taking the decision though seriously, and it's like I okay, well, I'm hearing I'm not a I'm not a a, a cowgirl, <laughs> uh, uh, just um, uh, waiting on the sidelines uh, of of the. Uh, of, of the show, whatever that may mean in particular for you. It's like, I, I want to wear my, my, uh, my hard hat, <laughs> specifically the magician in reverse and the fool in reverse. Uh, Sagittarius, the feeling I'm getting is like that I'm seeing you like acting almost like, uh, uncharacter, uncharacteristically, uh, I'm hearing serious <laughs> in a way. And, and the sort of feeling is like, yet again, it's like, I, I don't, I don't want to, uh, just, uh, reset i'm hearing hit reset and snooze it's like i want to 
just change the way my alarm my alarm sounds like uh, when it's waking me up. I want to um, maybe get a new phone. I want to maybe uh, also change uh, the place that I wake up from. Whatever the meaning of you, it's like I want a complete, complete transformation. And I'm hearing Guru Magul here with the um, Four of Wands. You may be really having some some creative inspiration like i am seeing the future that i want to be building the six of pentacles in reverse and the chariot upright but i've got to switch a few things out i'm hearing out of place in order to shuffle the right pieces back into the puzzle whatever that means are good for you and again it's like a focus on release here i'm hearing sagittarius aries and leo i'm hearing scorpio as well out pop scorpio the death card in reverse in the future in reverse uh sagittarius the fool in reverse right over the death card the justice card up right uh and the six of pentacles again here in reverse splitting to the mother of pentacles upright you may be dealing with uh I'm hearing Scorpio. Maybe dealing as well, though, with an Earth sign uh, who has a few, I'm hearing, financial obligations on the table still. Uh, this may be your very own energy. There may be a focus on contracts, legality. Um, what is considered to be the balloon that we're going to pop with um, the uh, the pencil that we're going to write the manuscript out with, whatever that may be in for you. It's like, I'm not playing around, guys. I'm hearing specifically. It's like, I am getting serious. I'm hearing specifically with, um, and I'm seeing you in, in like, almost like in a social environment. Okay. Um, but I'm seeing you with like this, uh, with like this, uh, I'm hearing this I'm hearing scone. I'm hearing it's like you're holding a scone in your hand like or like I'm hearing muffin. It's like uh, it's like I'm not I don't want to be eating muffins. I'm hearing in 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 the uh in the in the in the sound room. It's like I don't want to be uh just uh I'm hearing uh gaining weight as well. Whatever that may be drinking for you. I'm getting it is related to the ten of cups. <laughs> Okay, um, I'm feeling these energies, dear Sagittarius. <laughs> Again, I've got a lot of Sagittarius in my in my chart. Okay, um, and right, Sagittarius is naturally ruled by Jupiter, which is related to uh, related to expansion. Right? It's like uh, I, uh, I I want that. I'm hearing, and I can have that. It's like anything is possible with Jupiter. And when Jupiter is in check, there's a uh, there's a uh, positive reinforcement. Right? There's motivation. There's there's a uh, um, uh, sort of like uh, also um, uh, uh, enlightenment specifically of what we really would like and I'm hearing what it is that we're really desiring and when Jupiter is uh, sort of uh, messing around <laughs> I'm hearing specifically when Jupiter is uh, is uh, distracted I'm hearing from doing their homework whatever that may be in particular for you um, and it could be a focus on these energies in your own chart, how we're channeling the energy of Jupiter in our own chart, for example, channeling the energy related to the ninth house, Sagittarius, any planets you have in Sagittarius. Um, and there being a focus on getting on socialization here. Three of Cups is Miriam, the Mother of Wands. Okay, let's get her out of her room, whatever that may mean in particular for you. The Temperance card, Miriam, the Mother of Wands, the Hermit in reverse. Um, it's like I'm hearing... Uh, there's the there's the tendency to overdraw i'm hearing specifically on our resources and let's say if, if you've been like overspending or like overeating or like over over uh over accentuating um uh a certain pro a certain project whatever that may be drinking for you like really focusing on on a certain type of performance i'm hearing for an overview um the pressure is is uh, coming 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 um, to a point of clarity uh, as what it really is illuminating for you. And it's like if I felt like I wanted to, I'm hearing specifically to like eat that muffin. <laughs> I'm hearing for a number of you. It's like I I'm realizing what that hangering feeling of quote unquote desire is really um, uh, uh, being. Uh, uh, sort of um, uh, associated with, I'm hearing an as, and I'm getting it as 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 almost unfolding right before your eyes. A Scorpio, I'm hearing, uh, and you've got again the card associated with Scorpio here, the Moon coming through, uh, right above the Emperor. Okay, I'm hearing they're making a visit or two. Uh, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. I'm hearing back home as well for a number of you. Whatever that means for you, Nine of Pentacles is mirroring the Moon upright. Um, they're not uh they're they're not um they're not over promising any aspect of the devil up right here mirroring the emperor they're you may be dealing with the capricorn as well they're not over promising any uh the empress in reverse and the eight of swords upright any um uh any um uh sort of um 
uh, I'm hearing it as Eight of Cups is mirroring the Nine of Pentacles as any um, particular uh, I'm hearing promise that's made the star here upright. It's like I'm getting though that there is an understanding, there is a premonition, there is the feeling that well we're we're I'm hearing we're 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 doing something special. I'm hearing in serious here the star upright, um, and that feeling is mutual the nine of cups here coming through i'm getting being a focus uh, related to the star that feeling is mutual and you've got the fool looking down at the sun of swords in reverse the chariot of right uh, but um there's a focus on what you are identifying with as uh your piece of that pie and it's like well okay uh if this is what i'm hearing we're creating if this is what we're making uh what exactly is it and uh there could be a focus on exactly what you are let's say i'm hearing transporting into this new beginning specifically and there could be a focus on actual movement and change translocation uh I'm hearing heightened heightened states of awareness, heightened levels of awareness. You could be traveling in your mind uh, as well, Sagittarius. The Seven of Pentacles in reverse is mirroring the Wheel of Fortune um, horizontally laid right beneath the Father of Pentacles. You're getting on top of your game, Sagittarius. It's like if I was was uh, <laughs> if I was drawing a mirroring with paint that that didn't show up on the on the canvas. I'm done with that. Uh, kind of. Um, I'm hearing conversation for a number of you, the three of wands in reverse, I'm mirroring the daughter of swords upright. I am so ready to um, uh, start really making money. I'm hearing for a number of you. I'm hearing also to really start uh, working um, in a way that feels exciting for me. And it's something that is related. I'm getting to the past as well. Something that you may be getting back in touch with, rekindling uh, the uh, vigor for. I'm hearing specifically the two of wands right over the ace of pentacles, mirroring the fool. There's a focus though on the makeup i'm hearing the interface of the venture whatever that may mean in particular for you and there could be a focus as well on i'm hearing who's representing it and how uh, who is representing it is representing it and it may be a very own energy as well sagittarius i'm hearing scorpio there could be a focus on a proposal here i'm hearing wishes wishes with the daughter of swords um uh, a focus on um i'm hearing a project potential project proposal that is being made um okay i'm hearing it may be related to a relative i'm getting as well perhaps related to the chariot perhaps the archetype of cancer it may be related to uh the uh i'm hearing wonder woman i'm seeing charlie's theron here with the daughter of swords very interesting i'm like seeing her face like on the daughter of swords uh the owl I'm hearing night gaze, night dress, whatever that may mean in particular for a number of you. The three of pentacles coming through right at the base of the daughter of swords. Um, uh, uh, daughter of swords here, three of pentacles and the three of wands, two threes here, uh, sort of sandwiching, surrounding uh, the daughter of swords. You may be making a decision to work with this individual. I'm hearing specifically for a number of you. Um, there could be a focus on uh, specifically what the um, assets uh, creatively will be labeled as. Thank you so much, Sagittarius, for tuning in. Love and light to you all here. Um, and I'm going to put one more card, one more card, one more card here for you. Right as we trail out the daughter of wands. She's ready. I'm hearing she's ready. She's got her makeup on. She's got her boots on. She's got her heels on. Uh, she's got her bag ready. She's got everything packed. She's uh, already witnessing the, uh, the I'm hearing the, the, the play. I'm hearing the performance. She is um, motivated to really get things moving. And it may be you may veer a very own energy again Sagittarius it's um the mother of cups here coming through the death card at the base of the stack there's a focus on uh who comes with I'm hearing specifically what is it that comes with what is it that I am also identifying with as a priority uh physically I'm getting as well it's like what do I want to look like when I'm on that stage what is it that I want uh to uh identify with and as what is it that motivates me that makes me feel excited what is it that reconnects me with a sense of and a source of childlike wonder with a sense of also empowerment I'm hearing invigoration to make my message reach my audience in um, the many ways that I see it uh, manifesting and it's like as there's a focus on uh, 
the divergence of the reality here, Sagittarius, of what exactly you are uh, stimulating as a new beginning, I'm hearing as a completely new level of your work, and it's really shifting the paradigm, I'm hearing as well, that um, others are also perceiving you by. And the sort of focus I'm getting for you, Sagittarius, is like, how is it yet again that I see myself in um, the sort of grander, uh, I'm hearing, uh, space of, of the um, uh, project I'm hearing. I'm seeing it though as like you watching your uh, own self on film, I'm hearing on tape, and I'm seeing you, I'm hearing playback, playback, film. Um, I, I'm hearing remedy, I'm hearing I'm hearing remedy, whatever that may mean. I'm hearing, I'm hearing that song also, melody. I'm hearing uh, akash, prakash, whatever that may mean for a number of you. Okay, but yet again, Sagittarius. Um, the sort of feeling is that um, I'm hearing wacky with the Father of Pentacles, whack a mole, whatever that may mean for you. Uh, mirroring here, the Mother of Pentacles, or it could be focused on a financial partnership, but yet again here, Sagittarius, I'm hearing Scorpio as well with the Mother of Cups who's motioning down to the Mother of Pentacles. Um, the sort of feeling is that uh, you are getting ready to uh, project a brand new sort of, I'm hearing, rebranding of what you feel is the um, uh, superpower that you are ready to harness. And it's like, okay, I know I'm hearing my gifts, my talents, my assets. What exactly, as I perceive it, is uh, going to be uh, the makeup routine I'm getting specifically? And it's like, um, you're getting... Uh, really serious about how you are preparing also financially very fiscally for that venture uh it's like again it's like i'm gonna be weighing everything in that luggage sort of feeling it's like i'm gonna be really timing everything as well i'm going to be really organizing i'm hearing my schedule um i'm going to be scheduling i'm hearing every act whatever that may mean in particular for you and i'm seeing someone who's like a film director and it's like were we just like i'm hearing uh uh eating muffin after muffin <laughs> in the meeting room whatever that may mean in particular for you <laughs> Sagittarius again, these energies um, come through, um, and right, what, what, and, and right, and not necessarily in any way uh, being. Uh, it's always a matter of perception, right? Not necessarily positive, negative, or neutral, but it's like feeling is like okay. Let's get really, uh, let's get really serious, okay, with with what exactly we are um, working with, okay, as a, as a creative medium and also modality, okay, of carrying out our work. But Sagittarius, again, the sort of feeling is that um, we, we want to uh, um, revolutionize also spiritually our connection with what it is that we do. And the way that we move into that, the way that we identify with that process, even on a personal level, is being um, uh, prioritized as I'm getting it by you. And it's like, I'm seeing you like looking at yourself on um, uh, almost like on, on, on the face of like a puzzle that has been created. I'm hearing mold, cast, prototype, show, whatever that may be for you. And it's like, I'm, it's almost like a poster. Like I'm seeing it like a poster. I see myself on the poster board, okay. Um, and how is it that I am um, playing that part um, in a, in a, in a prepar preparative way in my mind's eye first, even before I step to the podium, I'm hearing to the platform to, to perform. Um, I'm hearing to stage every act uh, out. I'm hearing to solve every uh, story. I'm hearing uh, out uh, uh, physically, whatever that may be in particular for you. Like I'm gonna show up and I'm gonna physically um, uh, 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 support, also represent, present my work, my craft, whatever that may be in particular for you. I'm getting there's a focus on a public audience. I'm hearing worldwide. Um, I'm hearing premiere, uh, entourage, whatever that may be particular for you. Uh, again, though, Sagittarius, the sort of feeling is that um, it's not a matter of exactly what you're creating. It's not a matter necessarily of the context that you're creating through. There's a focus on who you see yourself representing and reflecting in m in the motion picture. I'm hearing specifically, and what is it that exactly you're, you're casting? What is it that you are uh, capitalizing on as your premonition of your potential and 
there's a focus on your vision Sagittarius there's a focus on your values I'm hearing as well and what it is that you identify with being the very focus here what it is that you feel also is empowering for you it's like when I turn those lights on in that way when I'm filming myself in this way how is it that it also um, makes me uh, feel I'm hearing representative of my own value I'm hearing my own vision my mission as well that I realize is starting um, just uh, to flourish before my eyes Sagittarius so very exciting these energies are um, there is I'm hearing a, a major next step that you're about to take and you got the devil here leading you out with the eight of cups um, really uh, getting getting ready to um, uh, finalize I'm hearing uh, and, and clarify clarify specifically what it is that we uh, would like to project I'm hearing and um, format our message as I'm getting uh, what it is that we would also like to uh, I almost like I'm seeing it as like I, I I'm hearing iconize like make as sort of the icon of our um, I'm hearing presentation and I'm seeing you Sagittarius I'm seeing someone who has like uh is like I'm, I'm seeing it as like so many visions okay and if you've got a lot of Sagittarius in your chart let's say you've got as well a lot of Pluto in your chart I'm hearing Pluto coming through whatever that means for you like the ability to really it's like I have the vision and I don't just have it but I I'm hearing I embody it I'm hearing I am the sorcerer and <laughs> whatever that may mean for you um I am the uh I'm hearing story not just teller but uh uh I'm hearing um uh, uh, uh I'm hearing um uh, interpreter I'm hearing it's like I'm not just telling the story I am like living and feeling and tasting and smelling and and listening to the story assimilate itself as I tell it as I uh, I'm hearing uh, uh, release it I'm hearing for a number of you but also as I channel it I'm getting for a number of you the mother of cups uh, I'm hearing also regurgitate there could be a focus on the past in some kind of way how it is that you may be telling or recounting a certain vision again though the sort of feeling is like there is so much so much vision here there's so much also focus on um what has been um uh i'm hearing um exciting for you in a certain way in a certain state and I'm getting that now it's like, okay, I'm going to look back at all my, my past posts. I'm hearing my history. I'm going to look at all my, my call logs, whatever the mean for you in particular. I'm going to look back at my, um, my posters. I'm hearing that were hung around on my walls. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to get everything. I'm hearing, I'm going to just sort of accumulate all my stuff and I'm going to, uh, really, I'm hearing take stock and take heed of what calls out to me. In the moment that I realize I'm about to move um, right out of this uh, home, I'm hearing specifically for a number of you, I'm hearing also right out of the space that uh, just opens the letterhead to what I feel to be the mission statement that I am now not only writing, but ready to act on behalf of, I'm hearing and act out as the play and performance of what I feel so deeply for and there's a focus on passion here Sagittarius focus on what you it's like this is this brings me I'm hearing sunshine I'm hearing in the morning it's like this is what um, opens my 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 window in the morning this is what uh, causes me to um, create I'm hearing uh, in, in in ways that are not uh, conservative whatever that means for you take it as you will it can be taken perceived and interpreted in a number of ways right always a matter of perception this really uh, 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 stirs my soul I'm hearing makes me just swivel in the seat that is not I'm hearing a rolling chair it's like this is just something that I feel I've got to just embody. I'm hearing the aura and the glow of. And to do that, and in doing that, I realize that I am a representative of it. And how it is that I identify with the feeling space, with the energetic space, the emotional space of preparing to take on that role. I'm hearing partnership, that act as well, the daughter of wands. I realize that this is a, I'm hearing a question not of just production but of passion and um i'm hearing i'm getting ready to to uh 
to work in ways that completely redefine the paradigm of, of, of working. What does it mean to work? What does it mean to feel productive? What does it mean to, to uh, finance? I'm hearing a venture as well. What does it mean to feel stable in what we're creating and feel that something is successfully moving forward and along? What do these concepts mean to me within the landscape of a project that I am identifying with on a level that is not just purely financially focused, that is not just solely um, to be uh, physically, I'm hearing, supported, physically uh, represented, um, uh, presented, I'm hearing as well, uh, or uh, 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 um, um, uh, sort of like prioritized. It's like, okay, it's not just how we film it. It's like, what is actually being uh, uh, stimulated, I'm hearing, through the audience that um, merges with, and I'm hearing, emerges from the very moment that I am creating what it is that I am. Sagittarius, so powerful here. There is, um, as I'm getting it, a, a um, palpable feeling here with what you feel you are, um, uh, uh, I'm hearing making a sacred art out of, and I'm hearing with, and the feeling is that uh, you want to to also remain fluid in that that uh, sort of form of, of creation. It's like I, I want to feel that I I'm hearing freelancer again. I want to want to sort of be dynamic. It's like I want to rollerblade here, but I, I want I want to uh, be able to. I'm hearing travel as well from one site to the next, from one project to the next. And how is it that I'm going to do that? Okay, perhaps there could be a focus on finances as well here. Again, it's like I want to make sure I've got all the Lego blocks uh, properly situated here. Um, Sagittarius. Okay. Uh, nonetheless, though, there's a focus on. Uh, um, just as we close it out here, what I um, am um, um, prioritizing, I'm getting specifically also um, placing an emphasis on uh, perceptively of what holds meaning and value for me. And the question of that exactly for you, Sagittarius, is coming up for your uh, sort of uh, determination I'm getting, but in a physical way. It's like, okay, is this my value? What does it mean to feel stable? What does it mean to feel successful yet again? What is a concept in the paradigm of growth financially? Um, also, I'm getting it as being related to the networks that you create, how you're integrating with others what it is that I'm creating, how does that relate to uh, what it is that I'm creating uh, before I create it? Okay, what, how does that relate to what I am also um, uh, 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 determining to be the, uh, the uh, diamond I'm hearing in the rough of my, of my world, whatever that means, I'm hearing it, I'm seeing it as being in, in a perceptive way, I'm seeing it as like being in, a, in an imaginative way. What is the a world that I am already shaping that I am seeing so clearly to be absolutely possible. I'm hearing here with the Wheel of Fortune and the Fool, and I'm seeing the number zero here on the Fool card, and this uh, this sun that uh, is uh, illustrated on the Wheel of Fortune card, right at the base of it. There's something that you that you see uniquely, Sagittarius. It's like I know that I'm the only one who sees this. So I'm hearing no one, nobody else. It's like this is a dialect that only I speak, and. Uh, there's a sun as well here on the chariot card, right? It's like, what is it that I am uh, surprising even myself with? I'm hearing my audience with as well. What is it that I am uniquely identifying with as I move into the next steps and stages that I realize I am in the process of, um, of uh, acknowledging, I'm hearing, uh, and, and channeling, I'm hearing, giving, giving a... Um, I'm hearing platform to channel through, and there could be a focus on the past in some kind of way here. Such here. Thank you so much again for tuning in. Love and light to you. Enjoy this period of the full moon in Aries, potent energies here. Love and light to you all. And I highly recommend as well to check out your rising ascendant or moon sign as you may find there's further insights there for you and your situation. At the apex of your reading is the Father of Pentacles. Uh, there is a sense of stability here as I'm getting it with whatever it is that you're sort of um, uh, finding uh, the sort of uh, or to uh, in the form to uh, sort of um, though dynamically uh, I, I'm hearing engage your audience with to also mass market uh, and to produce and to take on dynamically I'm getting physically to represent thank you so much again for tuning in such shares enjoy this period and I'll see you soon bye